Hello everyone and welcome to another Neo Overview. Today we're going to be going through a character, a show, a great, great story. I'm talking about Kamen Rider Black. This video will go through an overview of the hero, Kota Rominami, his villain, Shadow Moon, and vehicles and then attacks. Now this show was very popular in the 80s. It was a really great show when I was young. We watch it every Sunday night with my brothers. It has a very special place here. It's a great show. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's begin. Kota Rominami, the hero of our story. He was born alongside Nobuiko Akizuki during a solar eclipse. Due to this, Gorgon chose both of them to be candidates in becoming the next creation. Kotaro was adopted by Soichiro Akizuki, Nobuiko's father, when his parents both died at the age of two. They were both infused by kingstones and was made into cyborgs. During the final phase of their brainwashing, Professor Akizuki intervened, allowing Kotaro to escape. In episode 1, you see Kotaro being chased by the high priest. When he was about to get captured, he activated his newfound cyborg powers. The Bata Man, Grasshopper Man or Kamen Rider Black Green version, appears briefly before Kotaro transforms to Kamen Rider Black. You can see this form every time he transitions into his standard black battle suit. Kotaro henshins to a grasshopper humanoid called Common Rider Black. He uses his newfound powers to stop Gorgon and save Nobuhiko. Soichiro Akizuki is Kotaro's stepfather. He stops Gorgon from making both of his sons creation kings, helping Kotaro to escape. He was killed by the spider mutants under Gorgrom's orders when he realizes they were an organization for evil. Kyoko Akizuki is Kotaro's stepsister and Nobuhiko's younger sister. She gets targeted by the high priest since her life force could awaken shadow. Katsumi Kida is Nobuhiko's girlfriend. She assists Kotaro quite a few times to persuade Shadow Moon to remember his human side. Masaru Toto owns Capital Bar's Kotaro Senior at the university. He leaves the cafe to Kyoko to pursue his dream of becoming a man of the sea. Gorgon, Sean, and Tai are a group of children that was experimented by Gorgon, causing them to not age. They fight alongside Kamen Rider Black and has appeared twice in the show. Ryusuke Taki is a special agent from America who helped Kotaro in two episodes. He was Nobuhiko's senior in soccer. Ryusuke teaches Kotaro a technique called the Dragon Shot and uses it against Squid Mutant. Ryusuke goes back to America to continue his agent work for Interpol. Whale Mutant was a monster who went against Gorgon when he found out that they were going to pollute the ocean. It's also the most important figure in reviving Kamen Rider Black, which you'll see later. Hideomi Kuramatsu is Gorgon's chief scientist. He uses his job at Toto University as a laboratory to convert humans to mutants. Koichi Omiya is the head of Omiya Konsen. He used his business connection to finance Gorgon's criminal and terrorist activities. Ria Saburo Sakata is a politician who uses connections to perform an unspeakable task for Gorgon. Gorgon mutants are genetically altered hot beast humans that can live up to 5,500 years. Each mutant is based on an animal or a plant life form. For Gorgon's human members, being transformed into a mutant is the ultimate reward for their loyalty. The three high priests are the generals of Creation King. The three carry out his will and send mutants against Kamen Rider Black. High Priest Darom is the leader of the High Priest. He has a pale, white face. He can manipulate people and objects by pointing at them. High 
High Priest Baraum has stone-like green face. He can discharge laser beams from his robotic hands. He is in charge of deploying Gorgon mutants against Kodo. High Priest Bishum is the female priest of the three. She can release laser beams from her eyes. She is the most active member of the three priests. All three sacrifices their stone, heaven, earth, ocean to revive Shadow. They lose their human forms and revert back to their original mutant forms called Grand Mutants. Bilginia is a 30,000 year old warrior of Gorgon. With the High Priest's constant failure of retrieving the Kingstone, the Creation King ordered for him to be released. He was born during a solar eclipse but was not given a kingstone. He was sealed by the Creation King due to his revolt of not being given one. Virginia always wanted to be the one to kill Kamen Rider Black. Akira Egami was kidnapped by Virginia to create Hell Shooter. Egami told Kotaro the secret of the cycle and was able to destroy it. Belgina stole the Satan Saber to use against Kamen Rider Black to retrieve the Kingstone. He failed and returns to Gorgom Cave only to discover that Shadow Moon has been revived. The two men fought but Belgina ultimately lost to Shadow Moon using the Satan Saber. Mara, Silver, and Kara, Gold were two handmaiden mutants recruited by Shadow Moon. They both died during the collapse of Gorgom's base. Nobuhiko Akizuki is the stepbrother of Kotaro. He could not escape with him and remain in a coma till the High Priest can reawaken him. The three High Priests uses their stones to forcibly reawaken Nobuhiko, costing their humanoid forms. Shadow Moon was born. Like Kamen Rider Black, Nobuhiko utilizes the Kingstone. His weapon is the Satan Saber. A sword created specifically to be used by the Century Kings. The Creation King is the leader of Gorgon that has been living for 50,000 years. He communicates with the priest and the two Century Kings via telepathy. Every 50,000 years, the existing Creation King dies. Two century kings are chosen to fight each other, with the winner becoming the new Creation King. The Creation King had once possessed an original body, but it had been destroyed, leaving only his heart intact. When Kotaro summons the Satan Saber against his fight with the Creation King, Shadow Moon could have prevented it by not letting go of the Saber. Through his last act as no Bohiko, Shadow Moon releases the sword and yells out Kotaro's full name. Kamen Rider Black uses the saber to defeat Century King and destroy the Gorgon base, leaving behind the presumed dead Shadow Moon. Kamen Rider Black and Shadow Moon eventually fought each other while Kyoko and Katsune watches from afar. Kamen Rider Black and Shadow Moon were matched in strength despite Kotaro not wanting to fight. The Creation King assisted Shadow Moon in defeating Black when he was gaining advantage. Defeating Kotaro, Shadow Moon became hesitant in retrieving the Kingstone from his dead body. Common Rider Black dies and washes away in the ocean. Upon learning of Common Rider Black's death, Whale Mutant recovers his body and performs his tribe's revival ceremony. When a bouquet of flowers thrown in the ocean by Kyoko and Katsumi reaches Whale Mutant's cave, Whale Mutant places them on Common Rider Black's chest. His body starts to react and brings him back to life. 
Battle Hopper is a living motorcycle used by Kotaro. It was created by Gorgon made specifically for the Creation Kings. Battle Hopper has regenerative properties when injured. His special move is the Dynamic Smash, a body slam attack that is executed at full speed. Battle Hopper dies when he rams himself to Shadow Moon while he was being controlled. He thanks Kotaro for everything. Road Sector was created by Yoichi Daimon, Akira's dad for Gorgon. Road Sector has a special function called the Attack Shield that shields the rider from harm. Road Sector can also travel at the speed of 500 km per hour. The attack shield is activated at the speed of 800 km per hour. Road Sector requires the maximum speed of 960 km per hour to perform the sparking attack. He is returned to Akira Daimon when Gorgon was destroyed. Strengthened Skin is the grasshopper-like exoskeleton that protects Common Rider Block's body from attacks. Strengthened Muscles is the brown muscles under Strengthened Skin. It gives Common Rider Black 30 times the strength of a human. Rider Sensor is Common Rider Black's antennas that can detect monsters which are moving way too fast. Multi-Eye is when Common Rider Black's eye starts glowing to see mutant movements in the dark and detect their weaknesses. Power Stripes is Black's striped bands on his neck and wrist. They would glow to repel any monsters, sticky fluids, or goo in his body. Dragon Shot is Ryusuke Taki's soccer move that Black uses to beat Squid Mutant. He only uses this move once. Rider Chop is a powerful karate chop that Common Rider Black uses. Rider Punch is a powerful punch that Common Rider Black uses. When the mutants develop hard skins, Common Rider Black had to improve his Rider Punch. He touches his knees to increase the speed and get a stronger force. You can tell the difference with the more flashy Rider Punch. Rider Kick is a powerful kick that Common Rider Black uses. Enhanced Rider Kick increases its speed and hits harder as well. You can tell the difference when he touches his knees. Kingstone Flash is Common Rider Black's most powerful technique, firing an energy burst of light from his belt. Kingstone Flash is so powerful that it stops and stuns all mutants, the three high priests, and even Shadow Moon. That is strong. Well, that was great, wasn't it? I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a lot about Kamen Rider Black. If you liked the video or I made a few mistakes, feel free to give me a comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get the most up-to-date videos from me. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon.